Happy Sunday! Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Do you know why? Can you guess why? Got Starlink up and running. And I'm going to tell you, I messed with it yesterday quite a bit and I thought I checked everything. Well, of course, I went on to YouTube and, you know, I watched some more videos again. There's one uh, Starlink something. Anyways, this guy, because, uh, you know, he's got all three generations are out there. But anyways, so, of course, I knew how to reset the uh, router again. Here's the router. You can actually add your own router to it. But anyways, enough of that. So he says, these are the things you do, and if it nothing else works, then you got to get hold of uh, technical support by typing. Yeah, they don't give you a phone number. Anyways, so I did a thorough one today. So I, they say, check the cables, check the cables, check the pins on them. This is kind of basically what it is, like this. Let me get it up there. Turn it around. Focus. Okay. You see those uh, copper pins? Let me get it in here. God damn it. Uh, you see it, don't you? Anyways, there's copper pins in there. There's like little fingers in there. So I got to put it under the light. Got my, uh, where is it at? Magnifying glass out. Hey, let's see if we can do this. Or we can do that. Whatever that shows up like that. Anyways. Little fingers, little pins in there. There's like little slots. I get that magnifying glass. I saw there's something in it at the end of it there. Looked like a... I don't know, looked like a particle or something. I took my little uh, screwdriver, flat end. Flicked it out of there. There was two of them, one on one and one on another. Don't ask me where it came from. I know I got a lot of sand out here, but those were things were lodged in there. So it might have came from the factory or something. I, I don't know. Because uh, when I first got them, I was very careful with everything. That did the trick. That's all it was. Two little particles in between the pins here that I had to get out of there. I don't know if they were grains of sand or... Anyway, there was some some kind of foreign material in there. Yeah. I checked everything else and all, put it all together, and boom! It came right up. So, uh, hey. I am glad. I'm praying that everything else will just go good now. Anyways, the speeds, the download speeds. God almighty. 237 megabytes per second download. Upload was mm, maybe 10 megabytes per second, 12, you know. So, uh, yeah, I'm real glad about that. Real glad. Happy. Now I can move on to my next thing I got to do. Yeah, that was a lot of stress on me there. So, cable. You ever run into it? So, uh, hey, we'll just see how this thing goes now. Now I got to deal with my home internet. I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not now. And then I had to move up to another plan. Well, we'll see about that. So, just a little side note on Sarasota Tim. I got, I got to hand it to him now, okay? You know, last time we gave him hell for not uh, taking uh, Fred and Raffaella with him. And I, honestly, I don't think he even thought about that. Really. On the last hurricane there, he Helen, Helen, something, anyway. So in, uh, is it Milton, this one? So it's headed right for Sarasota, maybe Tampa. They say the, uh, the uh, computer projections are somewhere in there. It's kind of still massing, but this one's going to come through pretty good. It might hit there about, oh, I think they said Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. So what do you do? He picked up the elderly couple. He's taking them with him up to Georgia. So I gotta hand it to you. Good job, Tim. Glad you uh, thought about it. You know what? Him being a narcissist and all, and always thinking of himself, 
Like I said, last time, I don't even think he gave it a thought about going and getting them. No. So, he probably didn't think it was going to be that much of a threat, but this one's barreling right down on Sarasota. So, he's got them packed up in the truck there, and they're headed off. I think he said Fred's like 84 or 85, and, and uh, Rafael is like 78, I think. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, he calls his daughter up. She says, oh, we're supposed to have sunshine and everything for 7 to 10 days. I'm going, hmm, okay. Maybe. Till that storm comes through. So, one, he first, he says, well, we're going to have to find an RV park. I think, I think he's probably going to park up there at his daughter's place and let the elderly couple stay in the other room. That's what I'm thinking. Probably best anyways for them, you know. But, hey, one big happy family, I guess, huh? So that's all I wanted to say. Just, uh, yeah. I changed my thumbnail around a lot on that last video. Eh. I got, uh, reservations about that one, but hey, it's out there. But anyway, I just wanted to give you an update. I know nobody really gives a shit about it, but a couple of you do got Starlink, and one of you guys, commenters, had, uh, just got yours hooked up too. Yeah. And I gotta say this. Thank you for all the new subscribers out there. Really. I mean, hey, we talk about other stuff, too. I like to. Sarasota Tim's getting a little boring, you know, in a way. You know, when he gets somebody with him, he kind of grounds them a bit. You know, like he's got the older couple there, so it kind of keeps them grounded. It doesn't get all riled up and everything. Just like Tammy, she used to keep him grounded. But he's on his own, man. He just goes crazy. That's good for us when he's by himself. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I don't know. Maybe Chris Google Maps will run on down from uh, Philly there and and uh, meet up with him in Georgia. Or, you know, maybe he'll come up there from Florida, wherever he's at. Maybe they can collaborate together. But enough of that, you know. So if you ever get that Starlink, yeah, you have some troubles. Yeah, you got to check everything, man. I'm glad I checked this because this is the last time and then I was just going to hand it over to customer service there and see what's going to happen. But anyways, it's too early to tell. Let's keep our fingers crossed on that. And I hope everybody has a good Sunday watching some football. The wife's in there watching football. She's waiting for her team to come on. And, uh, yeah. So, we'll talk to you later, huh?